Hi guys, so here's an instruction video of how to play Havana. You can do it on the piano, which is primarily what I do. Uh, however, I'll also tell you the chords and then you can apply it on any other instrument like the guitar or banjo or whatever it is you like playing. So the basic chord structure of the song is just three chords, G minor, E flat major, and D seventh, right? So G minor, G B flat D, E flat major, E flat G B flat, and then D seventh is a very interesting chord. It adds some some build up or some tension to the music. Uh, it makes the sound very interesting. So D seventh is D major plus a C, which is a flat seven. To calculate a flat seven. You just take the octave and go down two steps. That's one step, two steps. This is D seventh. This is also what we call as a dominant seventh chord. D dominant seventh. So, so that's G minor, E flat, D seventh. And we can play it using inversions. That means we jumble up the notes to make them more convenient to play. And I'm going to be linking. Uh, a series on chord inversions which i'd suggest that you all follow if you're not very familiar with chord inversions what it does in a nutshell is makes your chords a lot more crisper a lot more tighter and obviously a lot more easier to play i feel right so anyway so you have g minor e flat major and d d dominant 7th or d 7th however the d 7th we try to play for an additional bar g E flat D seventh G minor E flat D seventh So if you're a beginner and if you're just starting off, I think this rhythm would work quite well for you. left chord right left chord left or in other words left with the root of the chord or the name of the chord right with the chord g g minor e flat e flat major d d seventh d d seventh however i'm sure you would want to play the original song because that's a lot cooler and that rhythm I think the rhythm, the piano rhythm is what is the backbone of the song. It's there almost as a loop, right, in the whole thing. So you can then modify the same shape of chords which you already learnt. To play that catchy, uh, you know, Spanish Latin kind of rhythm. So let's see how it goes. Now I've written it down in the note sheet where you basically go i've written down the root notes in the in the bottom that's g d e flat e flat d and i've written down the chords at the top that's g b flat d e flat g b flat d f sharp a c and a c e flat where he adds a, an interesting diminished chord as well so uh, let me just play you that g So let's take it two chords at a time, shall we? G, D, E flat, D. Yeah, I, I won't go to the D. So G. I think you can figure it out without me talking much. This is G minor. This is how they play E flat in the song from what I can hear. And this is your really cool sounding D seventh. So let's try and do the first two chords. G. Flat major. Let's try getting that little slower. G again. Just know that I'm hitting this E flat double, right? G E flat E flat. is the fifth of the chord and then the chord in the right hand so 
let's do the first three chords and the ending a that's like an a dominant sorry a diminished a c e flat and then you just drop that e flat down to d to get the last chord i repeat repeat okay let's try again the bass actually does uh, a, a tune which is dum ta dum g b flat e flat d so the bass is slightly different than the piano bass so don't get confused too much by that it they both complement each other really well because the piano is low in pitch and we all know that a bass instrument is also low in pitch so again to sign off let's just play the whole riff and it pretty much goes on for the entire song the verse the pre i don't even know which is the section of or which are the sections of this song because every part has pretty much the same piano riff so if you're new to piano this is the song for you i i i bet you're going to get this song right now so g e flat try and do it without talking much and so on right so that those are the chords of havana and also how to play it on the piano it, it is very much a piano driven song so you have a lot to do if you are a pianist and if you are a guitar player yeah you can play the same chords and try to match up with the same groove and yeah it's g minor e flat major and d7 so uh, i hope you can also find some other versions of this song on the on youtube or on the internet and uh, try and learn more things because i'm sure a lot of people would have covered this song on youtube it's such a popular song so all the best with this cheers don't forget to like subscribe hit that bell icon for notifications leave us a comment for any other video you'd like us to do next and don't forget to share the video with all your musician friends cheers